afternoon all. It's been a while, isn't it? I haven't been making videos for a while because I've been heavily engrossed in a new arm of the FPV hobby, fixed wing. And this is my first aircraft that I've built. And there's a lot of stuff going on inside. Um, this is an auto launch, as you can see. Not much to do from a pilot's perspective, apart from chuck it up in the air. Um, this is using iNav, which is a fantastic piece of software. It's like the beta flight for fixed wing. And in fact, if you log on to beta flight, it looks a lot like beta flight, but instead of being yellow, it's blue. So in the cockpit, you can see that there's a reflector gun sight. That's because there's another little project that I'm working on, which is, uh, and I'm gonna open source this. I'm gonna give it away for free so you guys can make your own. It's going to be a system where um, there's a laser on your aircraft and a laser sensor on the other aircraft. Um, it's going to be built with Pipico and you can just download it and install it. If you're interested in this, leave a comment below and I'll keep you updated with it. So in the cockpit, you can see that there's the reflector gun sight, that um, green symbol that you can see, that's not put on, on pro in post, that's really there. So in the canopy, you've got a gimbal with a camera on and an 04 Pro air unit. And at the front, there's a gun sight that you can see, which is right in front of the camera here. It's focused at infinity, which is why it's perfectly in focus. Um, I got this gun sight from a company called Monsonic out in California. Um, and they're just great. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, you can see the gimbal, I'll just turn the gimbal on here. So as I move my head, the head tracker is on my headset and wherever I look, that's what I get to see. So it's a truly immersive experience and uh, you know, as someone with thousands of hours of full-size flight experience, I can tell you that it's a really, really similar feeling. You know, you get a lot of, the, the, the perspective is the same. So it's no great surprises there and more videos on this uh, in the future. Uh, if you're interested in how I put this together, if you want me to do some construction videos, if you want me to do some talk about uh, how to set this up, very happy to cover this. Just leave comments below in things that interest you about this. It's a lovely time of year to fly. Um, it's a bit of a gray day, but the trees are looking fantastic. Um, it's a wonderful place to fly. This is in North London, believe it or not. Uh, as you can see, you know, surrounded by houses. This is a park in North London. It's called Fryant Park. It's a great place to fly. Uh, we have a WhatsApp group for those of us that go there and fly. If You're you want to join hero. that WhatsApp group, then please just leave a message in the comments below and uh, I'll add you to the group. And whenever we go to fly, we just post messages there and we are able to meet up. And uh, as I say, it's a wonderful experience, you know. Um, I love my quads. I truly, truly love my quad flying. Um, but it's a different kind of challenge, right? This is a totally different experience. Um, you still get the freedom. You still get the wonderful feeling of flying. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot more like flying full-size planes that, that I'm used to, which is why I think I'm primarily attracted to it. Uh, I flew on this one, I was getting a decent amount of range, um, didn't lose signal at all really, um, the, 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 there's a lot going on, there's a transmitter for the head tracker, there's a transmitter for my HTX transmitter to control the aircraft, there's the video signal, all competing for the same frequency, but never had a problem, um, it was all pretty bulletproof and uh, it lands really slow. It's a 2.3 meter glider. The aircraft is built by FMS. It's called the FMS 2300. And uh, as I say, it's a glider with flaps. Um, it soars really nicely. Um, a lot of the time when I was flying around, not on this particular flight, but on other flights, I just switched the motor off and it was gliding. It's got an incredible glide ratio. Um, the batteries just last forever and uh, I can tell you that it's a lot of fun. So again, anything you want to know about this, I'm really giving this to you as an introduction to what I've been doing and whatever you see here that interests you and you think you need to know about and you'd like to ask questions about, 
then as I say, just leave uh, a link in the comments below. As far as the dog fighting system goes, you get a limited amount of ammunition, you get a number of lives, and if your lives expire, um, it has the ability, you can put one of those little rocketry smoke charges into the aircraft, and uh, if you die, then smoke will pour out of your aircraft. So there's a lovely landing for you, and uh, I'll see you. Okay, so that's the good bit. And for those of you who have managed to stick with this till the end, I just want to tell you that um, it doesn't all quite go as planned. Uh, in fact, this is exactly what happens when you mount your flight controller the wrong way up. Um, it plane thinks it's going up, it wants to go down, and it ends up turning itself into a boomerang. So, yeah, you got that to look forward to. Later. Bye.